What makes Mega Man Battle Network unique? On Halloween in the year 20XX, I mean, uh, 2001, Mega Man Battle Network was released to the Game Boy Advance in North America and was the Blue Bomber's first steps onto the portable console. With this new incarnation of Mega Man known as Mega Man.exe, Battle Network was an internet aged Mega Man RPG with the goal of trying to have a Pokemon like feel. Although it could have been closer to a carbon copy of Pokemon, the Battle Network series was actually successful, spawning six titles across the GBA library. Some of the titles have even made it onto the Wii U Virtual Console. What makes Mega Man Battle Network unique is how it perfectly combines RPG elements with the simplistic action of Mega Man. Let's begin. Mega Man is all about one thing, jumping and shooting, or more broadly put, simple and fun gameplay. It's when you add in the Robot Masters, their unique abilities, and the theme of trying to stop Dr. Wily that the simple and fun gameplay starts to become so much more intuitive to the player. The game is easy to understand, and the challenge comes from the level designs themselves. Mega Man Battle Network stands true to being simple and fun, and it's crazy to think since RPGs are generally a confusing genre. The biggest selling point of Battle Network is its battle system. You fight enemies on a grid of 6 squares across by 3 squares tall. Mega Man gets a 3x3 section to move around in, and your opponents get the other half. The action can get very chaotic at times, but your movement and everything that Mega Man is capable of is very simply laid out. The D-pad moves you around the grid, the classic buster shoots horizontally across the screen, and everything is easy to understand. The action is laid out almost like a game of dodgeball, and that makes it very straightforward for players. There's this level of safety knowing that your opponent can't just jump to your side, although sometimes they can, but it's also quite tense because your movement is confined to the board. And trust me, sometimes the amount of stuff that can be attacking your board is just insane to say the least. Although the battle system is simple and fun, this is still an RPG. These battles are everywhere, and you will face many enemies that are Mega Man series alumni. These enemies all have varying attack and movement patterns, and this would be hard if all we had was the Mega Buster, but there's way more than that in your arsenal. As you defeat enemies, there are random drops. Sometimes it's just money, but other times it's the abilities of your opponents. This is where the game begins to hybrid the simplicity of Mega Man with the elements of an RPG. You get a deck of 30 battle chips, all of which are usually much more powerful than the Mega Buster. Using these chips mixed in with the dodgeball style battle system gives the combat this new level of depth. Some chips are only good close range but do a lot of damage, others are sluggish and hard to use, and some have utilities such as healing or making Mega Man invincible. When you consider how fast the battles can get, it intensifies the system. You constantly have to try to find your openings while avoiding this huge onslaught from your opponents. With the importance of these battle chips and considering how the game removes your typical experience system for leveling up, collecting chips and mixing them into your arsenal becomes a great alternative. There's an excitement of learning how to use the chips, since many are very different from one another, and they all require some practice. It makes random encounters somewhat enjoyable for new players, since there's at least some stuff you can play around with while fighting. There are also super rare encounters that can occur that make exploring areas and grinding for chips or money much more exciting. Outside of this, the game is presented as a typical RPG. Lots of text, a story that's easy enough to understand, and a lot of big areas to explore. I personally really enjoy the art style as well, as it reimagines a lot of the classic Mega Man characters. Overall, the aspects of the Mega Man universe that make the game have this chaotic but exciting battle system completely changes how we perceive the game. It's so simplistic that the multiple sequels are all fun for the fans of the series, since the core gameplay never changes. I often forget that this series is considered an RPG, almost like how Pokemon is in a league of its own as well. With that, it seems like Keiji Inafune achieved the original goal. It's a game that, much like Pokemon, was built to be like an RPG, but yet it doesn't feel like an RPG at all. That is what makes Mega Man Battle Network unique. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed it, and if you'd like to see more videos that discuss what makes every video game stand out, click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.